Hi, this is Mike Lanning from the sales engineering team. And today I'm going to be talking about using Datadog's live container view. So Datadog's live container view here enables real time visibility into all your containers across your environment by leveraging the Datadog containerized agent. So taking inspiration from some tools like HTOP, CTOP, kubectl, the live containers here give you complete coverage of your entire container infrastructure and continuously updated table of resource metrics at two second resolution with faceted search and streaming container logs. So this coupled with integrations for Docker, Kubernetes, ECS, and some other container related technologies, plus some built in tagging components, this live container here uh, provides a detailed overview of the con uh, container's health, resource consumption, logs, network flow, traces, and deployment in real time. So what we're looking at over on the left is a bunch of tags and metadata associated with your containerized environment. For example, if I wanted to leverage uh, you know, what host they're on, what, what environment it's in, maybe I want to use some of the out-of-the-box metadata that we get from these integrations, right? We have some Kubernetes metadata down here, namespace, container name, ECS, we have Docker images. What we can do is we can start to leverage these to filter on a subset of the cluster. For example, I'm going to filter on my environment shopist here. Then let's organize this. Let's look at it by uh, Kubernetes container name. You can see it's going to organize all of your containers and group them in, into container name. So for example, rail storefront, we have 362 replicas of those. What we're going to see is an overview of each of these container names, some resource metrics alongside of them, and then the ability to drill in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of these containers arbitrarily. What we're seeing here now is a live view of the live processes running on these containers. So we can see the full command being ran in this container. We know what host it's running on. So to link it to other parts of the platform, if I want to see pop into a host dashboard, hey, what's happening on this VM here? Takes you to the host dashboard, and we can monitor some host metrics. Running back here. Just to show you what the Datadog agent is doing now, we can see the total CPU for the, this container based on the resources allocated for that container alongside the system CPU for the node that it's on. So if this container is continually crashing because it's running out of memory or CPU, but there's plenty of room left on the node, right? that data dog agent is giving you that full visibility here. Now, as your container is spitting out logs, the data dog agent is going to grab that log, tag it with what container it came from, and then provide a live tail of all the logs streaming through from this container. Now you can take these logs and analyze them even further using Datadog's log analytics. But here's a quick view of all the logs streaming from this container here. Now as we're tracing your application, the, the tracer sees exactly which containers this passed through. And we can see which stack traces passed through these individual containers. So if I take a look at one of these stack traces here, here you can see a Laravel app, uh, you know, someone makes a git call here, a Laravel app makes a request, makes an action to sell here, down the line. What we're seeing is this is passing through multiple services that we've tagged, it's passing through multiple nodes, and also multiple containers. One of those containers happens to be that ad server that we were just looking at. So here's the underlying infrastructure, right, it's on that VM, right, we see all the metrics for that VM, we're injecting logs from the trace ID here. But if I pop back to the uh, the infrastructure, we know this container. If I jump back to the container list, now we're right back where we started. So you can see how everything is very connected here. And lastly, we get a peek into the network flows. So from this container, we're able to see what other services, in this case, we're talking to. Right? Ad server is talking, and here's how much it's sent, received, TCP retransmits, round trip time. Maybe I just want to see raw IP addresses. Here's all the different IP addresses it's talking to. Or also maybe I want to look at the DNS. Right, so all of this gets resolved and we're able to see uh, the DNS that it's talking to. But in this case, I like to just show this view and it's great for, for troubleshooting your containers as you can come in and see everything from a monitoring perspective on what's happening with this container.